A reading from John chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. There was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Hands up who's ever been to a wedding where the wine ran out. I hope there's not many. Hands up who thinks this is a story about wine running out at a wedding. On the surface, it is, of course, but as with all things in John's Gospel, it is also hugely symbolic. Today, I'd like to focus on the symbolism of those six stone jars, the vessels which are filled with water, which is then turned into wine. Those jars would have been used for ceremonial washing. They represent ritual purification religious cleansing, religious law. Those jars represent rules, the shoulds and the should nots. They represent religious authorities and even some current Christian theologies, which might tell us that we should scrub up our filthy lives. Purification, verification. I'm not saying we don't make mistakes, we all do. But I think if you go down that road of faith being a list of requirements to get ourselves pure, well, I'm not sure that road ever ends. But Jesus changes the substance of those jars. Jesus fills them with jewel-coloured, sweet-smelling, spirit-lifting nectar. He fills the jars to the brim with the fullness of what God intended for his people. Wine from Christ, which symbolises our new religion, an abundant, uplifting, celebratory relationship with God. Wine which invites us to engage in an intoxicating wedding banquet, rather than a brittle, judgmental religious order. So this is not just the story of an inexplicable miracle. It is a story of transformation of what Jesus did and is doing to transform our relationship with God. The rest is up to us. We can keep going back to the six empty jars or we can enjoy the wine of abundance. Cheers. Amen.